Welcome to another one of our HubSpot tutorials. This is CJ with The Gist. We're an inbound marketing and growth agency and certified HubSpot solutions partner based in Buffalo, New York. Let's dive in. One of the nicest but yet exceedingly simple features of HubSpot is the meetings or calendar link. What this does is it allows you to provide a, a client or, or a prospect with a link to book time on your calendar based on your availability and the rules that you set, um, where it automatically creates an uh, invite and occasion on both calendars, and it really reduces friction and speeds up the process. Uh, personally, as well as the feedback I have through my clients and, and industry peers, people who use this tool generally see more meetings booked overall because sometimes, let's face it, um, part of the reason why meetings don't happen or they take longer to get on the calendar is people are busy and they don't want to go through the rigmarole of sending six emails back and forth of finding the time, the place, whatever. So this reduces all of that friction and everybody who uses this ultimately books more meetings. So I'm going to show you a really simple way to set up a meetings link in HubSpot. Uh, when you're inside HubSpot, you're going to go to sales and then meetings. Now, if you've never done this before, the first thing you got to do is connect to your calendar. HubSpot needs to be able to read your calendar and see the availability so it'll only show times when you are available. So I'm going to go ahead and, and connect my calendar. I'm turning on calendar sync. I'm accepting and connecting. And just like that, my calendar is complete, or is, is connected. Now I'm going to click cancel for a second. Now, so it's going to give you a default link, right? It's going to open this link and you can see, now this is before I've set up any branding, right? So you can put your logo here and your colors and you can set up the branding. But now I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a meeting link. I'm going to create a link. When you have multiple team members here uh, inside HubSpot, you can create a meeting that books based on round robin team availability. But I'm just gonna do a personal link. And uh, here's the owner. The meeting headline is going to be uh, introductory, three, whoa. Introductory call with CJ Maurer. I will make the meeting name the same. Um, now you pick. 15, 30, you let people choose how many. If, if, it's a, if it's a specific meeting, it has to be a certain length, then you only give them one option. Now click next. Where is the meeting gonna take place? If you have an integration with Zoom, you can do that as I do for my own business. Remember, I'm working from a demo account here because um, I don't wanna disclose any sensitive information, but um, you could just say, you know, TBD, you know, will, call you at number provided, um, or it could be, you know, again, it could be a Zoom link or it can be a number of things. So this is the subject that's gonna be in the calendar invite. So I'll say contact token, I'll say first name, uh, and CJ, introductory call. Um, you can write an invite description here um, to further set expectations of what the meeting's gonna be about. Um, you can send a confirmation email, right? So you can see what the confirmation email is going to look like. Um, I just sent a test email. Um, you can also set a pre-meeting uh, reminder. I like to do one hour before and just get a little preview here of what that's gonna look like. Um, you can send it a day before, whatever you like. And then next is gonna, um, this is where you configure when people book. Right. So first of all, it's only going to book during times that aren't already book, booked on your calendar. But let's say Mondays are sacred for you and you just don't want to book times on Monday or Monday mornings are sacred. So no matter what, you know, even if you don't have anything on Monday, you're not going to allow anybody to book anything before lunch. So 1.30 and on. Right. Next is like when can the meeting be scheduled? So this week and next week. Um, usually I like to give people maybe four weeks out. Um, if you give them too much time, you know, maybe that takes away from the immediacy of the meetings. Uh, mi minimum notice time. I personally don't like to let anybody book something on my calendar um, the same day. So I make sure it's at least 24 hours in advance. If you want, you can do three days or seven days. Um, you know, everybody can do this differently. Buffer time, you know, in the world where you're driving, you know, it's common to want to at least... 
uh, do buffer time of an hour. But if you're in a COVID world or you're at your desk and you can easily switch from one thing to the next, you know, it's maybe it's 15 minutes or 30 minutes and then start time increment. I like to do 15 minutes because it's easier for most people. Um, and this is where then you can figure the form, right? So the personalization tokens you used on the invite, how you know you were getting the first name because you put it in the form, right? Um, you can also ask for somebody's uh, phone number. Um, you can pull another contact property, like I created one for what CRM they're currently using. Um, you can make it required or optional, and then you can do a custom question. So this is something that will come into you on the submission, but won't necessarily populate um, uh, as a property on your contact record. So maybe you can say, what would you like to accomplish um, during our call? Um, another one I like to do is a custom question. Um, you know, please provide the names and email address addresses of anyone else you'd like me to invite. And I won't make that required, right? So then I'll just hit save changes and uh, I'll copy this link and I'll open it up and you can see here's that meeting link with all of the settings that I chose, right? There are a couple custom start times. Um, again, it's based on my availability. Look, it's on my calendar these two days. I happen to know our book solid. Um, on these days, it's only showing the availability that currently exists. You know, on Mondays, there's nothing before 1.30. Um, on the other days, it's showing that, okay, that I have stuff booked from, you know, 2 to 4, so it's not giving you options there. And here's just a really easy way to allow somebody to book a time on your calendar on your terms. And it is definitely going to help you and your team increase the amount of meetings that are booked. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you wanna dive deeper into this topic, suggest we do a new tutorial on a new topic, or if you wanna learn more about our HubSpot onboarding and support services, head on over to thegistcontent.com slash HubSpot. Thanks for watching.